GoDaddy is one of the biggest names in the hosting and domain space. And while they may be best known for a place to get a great, affordable domain name, they also offer great, affordable hosting. They provide excellent value when you take into account a lot of their features, which we're going to look at in a second. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a WordPress website on GoDaddy and with no steps skipped. Let's get started. If you visit the URL on screen, winningwp.com slash ref slash godaddy dash special dash offer, you'll be taken to this website where winning WP visitors can get a special price on GoDaddy's hosting. Winning WP gets a small commission from people who purchase hosting from this page, but don't worry, it doesn't affect the price that you pay. In comparing the plans that GoDaddy has to offer, Economy, Deluxe, and Ultimate, you could see that for a very low price, you can get a website with a free domain, unlimited bandwidth, and more. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go with the Economy hosting. So we're going to click Add to Cart, and then we can get our free domain. We're going to get the domain moviespawn.com a blog dedicated to movie reviews and news. GoDaddy will then do a search to make sure that the domain is available, and if it is, we can select and continue. Once our domain is added, we'll be able to create an account. And once we fill out the form, we'll click Create Account. Once our account is created, it's time to put in our billing information followed by our payment information. And once we do that, we can look at some of the additional products that GoDaddy has to offer, like search engine visibility, matching domains or additional domains, Office 365 starter email, which comes with the hosting, the free domain, and we can get domain privacy, which means that people will not be able to look up who registered this domain and contact them. But for now, we're going to keep with just the hosting and the domain. The total will be 4407 and we'll click complete purchase. Once our account is set up, we'll be brought to GoDaddy's web hosting area. It's worth noting that after our account is created, we'll get a couple of emails from GoDaddy. The first is an order summary. The second requires us to verify our email address to use the domain we just registered. So we'll click Verify email now, and our email address is verified. We can now go to our account. We'll see that we have our domain, our web hosting, and our email. Under web hosting, we're going to click the setup button. The first thing we'll have to do is type in a domain we want to use. So we will add movie spawn, which is the domain that we just registered. and then we'll click Next. It's also going to ask us a question about which data center we should use. This should be based on where your customers are. Since I'm located in North America, I'm going to keep that selected. Then GoDaddy gives us the option to create a WordPress website. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll click Finish. Once everything is configured, we can click Set Up My Site. Before we go to manage our WordPress site, there is one extra thing that we should look into purchasing, and that's an SSL certificate. If we click Purchase, we can get a standard SSL certificate for $60 per year. This will secure our domain and make sure that it's protected from hackers and other people trying to steal our information. With that, let's start creating our WordPress site. There are two ways that we can access our WordPress site. The first is by going to moviespawn.com admin. This will bring us to the login screen. We can also go to the cPanel admin and click on the banner that shows up on the top of it. We can click build website and it'll take us to GoDaddy's get started wizard. So we'll click Start Wizard, 
So first it's going to ask us a few questions about our WordPress website. We are creating a blog only. The industry is entertainment. The blog is called Movie Spawn. And then we'll add a tagline. We'll click continue. It'll ask us to provide an admin email. We'll use the same one we used to sign up for our GoDaddy account. We can ignore the phone number, fax, and address, as well as the social media profiles. We don't necessarily need to add these to get our WordPress site up and running. So we'll click continue. The next thing we need to do is choose a theme. And while it's only giving us six choices here, we can definitely change this later. So we'll just go ahead and click 2015. It'll then bring us to the customizer where we can select a heading to choose from. Again, we're going to change this, so we'll just grab the first one. And then our theme will be installed. Again, we're going to take some time later to actually choose a theme from the WordPress theme repository. Once our theme is installed, it'll take us directly to the WordPress customizer. So we're going to X out of this. And now we have our WordPress site. We're going to dismiss some of these notifications. And the first thing we're going to do is head over to plugins. You can see that there aren't too many default plugins installed, just contact widgets, limit login attempts, and ninja forms. One plugin you may want to install is Jetpack by WordPress.com. This plugin will add lots of functionality to your website. So we'll go ahead and do that now by clicking install and then activate. Once Jetpack is activated, we will have to set it up. So we'll click set up Jetpack and we'll be taken to WordPress.com. If you are already logged into WordPress.com, you can just click approve. If you don't have an account yet, this screen will walk you through the process, eventually taking you to the same button to approve Jetpack for your new website. We're then presented with Jetpack plans, but luckily Jetpack also offers a free plan. You can click the start with free button below the secure payment options. Once Jetpack is installed on our website, it'll ask us which features we want to activate. We're just gonna go ahead and do the recommended features, which include sharing abilities, a contact form, and more. Now that Jetpack's installed, we're going to choose a new theme from the WordPress theme repository. So we're going to go to appearance themes and we're going to click add new theme. There are literally thousands of free themes to choose from for the WordPress theme repository. Luckily, they give us a few options to help narrow down those choices. We can look at the featured, the most popular, the most recent, and if you have a wordpress.org account, you can get the themes that you have favorited. We can also use the feature filter to filter the choices by subject, features, and layout. For example, we're starting a blog, so we will choose blog as the subject and click apply filters. Choosing the right theme can be a daunting task, but it's an important one because it's what gives visitors their first impression of your website. If you know of a theme you like, you can also use the search box to search for them. We're a big fan of Lovecraft, and that's the one that we're going to use. So we're going to type Lovecraft into the search bar, and it will show up immediately. We can then click Install, and activate. Once the theme is activated, we can click on customize to see what kind of customization options Lovecraft has to offer. These options will vary based on the theme that you're using. Some will be persistent throughout all themes like site identity, menus, widgets, homepage settings, and additional CSS, and some will be specific to Lovecraft. We recommend that you go through the customizer settings and really take the theme and make it your own. 
The only customization we're going to make to this theme is to change the header image. Lovecraft comes with a nice picture of mountains, but we're going to choose an image that more suits the topic of our website. So we'll click Add New and upload the image. Once the image is uploaded, we'll click Select and then we can crop. And now we can see what our theme looks like with our new selected image. This looks great, so we're going to go ahead and click Publish. And then we can click X to get out of this. The last thing we're going to do here is manage our posts. So we're going to click Post. And the first thing we're going to do is delete the Hello World post. Instead, we'll replace it with our first movie review. So we'll add our title, we'll add some content. Once we add our content, we'll set the featured image, which we'll upload. And then we'll press publish. If we click view post, we'll see what it looks on the front end. You see our image and our content. That's it for this video. In it, we learned how to sign up and configure our GoDaddy hosting. We installed and configured Jetpack, selected a beautiful looking theme, and added content. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click the like and subscribe below and tune in to Winning WP for more great content.